In Oakland, a nasty scene erupted backstage between Zeppelin's entourage and one of promoter Bill Graham's people. Peter Grant's son was slapped by a security guard for attempting to remove a dressing room sign. When Grant heard that his son had been hit, he had Graham's employee brought back to his trailer. By the time Grant and Bonzo were through, the trailer was awash with blood. Graham called the cops. Bonham and Grant were charged with assault and led away to jail. In California in 1977, Grant, John Bonham and two Zeppelin roadies were arrested after a security man had been beaten up. Sometimes they would all get out of hand, and sometimes Peter got out of hand too, and they had an altercation in San Francisco uh, involving uh, uh, Bill Graham, which was unfortunate. It did get out of hand. There was a certain amount of bullying that went on that shouldn't have happened. I'm sure that Peter, if he were here you now, would, would really regret it. But nonetheless, it did take place. Uh, once again, possibly drug-induced some of the time. The paranoia thing that drugs cause, maybe cause these extreme adverse reactions. With, uh, with uh, Robert, obviously what was uh, unspoken, but what was in the air that the last time we had seen one another was at a, at a, at a negative situation a few years ago backstage at Day in the Green. He was not involved in it at the time. Uh, that was a two day event. On the, on the second day, uh, I, was in a, I was not feeling good about what had happened to our personnel. The one thing that was established that only one member of the band at that time was involved with this negative incident and Robert was not that person. On the second day, he made an attempt to talk with me and I and I was very curt and just wouldn't talk to any of them. I just, let's get the show done and I, I, I don't want to deal with any conversation. I felt very bad about that because over the years, Robert not only uh, was a friend, uh, he was the first uh, named musician to befriend my son. That time in America in 1977, no act had got as big as they had got. They just hadn't. I mean, you had to really be there and understand what it was about being on tour in that year. You know, they swept the country, but backstage, it was getting out of hand, and I think the arrogance of Led Zeppelin could have cost them dear. What happened in America with uh, uh, Billy Graham, who was the promoter, you know, who brought Zeppelin over, and you know, he was the guy you know, to ha to have doing a show. He was the biggest promoter in America, and uh, uh, after after one of their concerts, and the, you know, the whole thing goes, there was a big argument over someone's son, and uh, Peter Grant was involved, Bonham was involved too. The Zeppelin, uh, uh, um, I think, a, a security guy, and, and one of their techs was involved. There was a huge big fist <laughs> all-out fight outside their dressing room. And there was an assault case against John Bonham and Peter Grant and it was getting out of control. I remember Peter Grant, when I spoke to him about this, he looked pretty solemn. Many years later this was and he, he looked me in the eye and said that was something that shouldn't ha have really happened. It shouldn't have happened. We regret it happened. You know, it was not something we were comfortable with but it got out of control, and we didn't even realise it was getting out of control. And then to find out only a couple of days later, the next show which was pretty low key, um, you know, because the police and everybody was involved, and you know, uh, this whole thing was going to go further. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 